This arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says, a train goes twice as fast downhill as it can go uphill, and four-fifths as fast uphill as it can go on level ground. If it goes 40 miles per hour downhill, how long will it take to travel 80 miles on flat land? So this very last sentence tells us we're going to be using the distance formula to solve this one. That is, distance is equal to rate times time. We want to know how long it's going to take the tr train to travel a distance of 80 miles. So D is going to be 80 miles on flat land. We don't know its rate on flat land. Instead, we're given its rate downhill and we want to know how long. So we're going to be solving the distance formula for T, but we first have to figure out what its rate of speed is across flat land. And we're given three conditions in this case, the rate of the train uphill, the rate of the train downhill, and the rate of the train on flat land. We know it goes 40 miles per hour downhill, and we're told it goes twice as fast downhill as it can go uphill. So if it's going 40 miles per hour downhill, it's going to go half as fast uphill, which is going to be 20 miles per hour. And we know it goes four fifths as fast uphill as it can go on level ground. So in other words, 20 miles per hour, its uphill speed is going to be equal to four fifths as fast as it could go on flat land or F. So by solving this equation here for F, we'll get our rate that we can plug in right here. So the first thing we want to do is clear this four fifths in front of this F and let me make space. So it's pretty easy to see how I do that. Again, this is four fifths F. We want to clear this four fifths. To do that, we're going to multiply both sides of this equation by the reciprocal, notably by five over four. This crosses out five times 20 is 100. 100 divided by 4 is 25. So this says 25 equals F. So we know the rate of this train on flat land is going to be 25 miles per hour. Now that we know that, we can go ahead and plug that in over here. This becomes 80 equals 25T. We're solving for T, so divide both sides by 25. This crosses out. Um, I'm going to solve this one using long division, notably 80 divided by 25. 25 goes into 83 times. 25 times 3 is 75. 80 minus 75 is 5. So I'm gonna write this as a mixed number. This three is gonna be my whole number. This five is gonna be my numerator. And this 25 is gonna be my denominator. Uh, let's reduce this by a common factor of five now. This becomes three and one fifth. So it's gonna take the train three and one fifth hours to go 80 miles on flat land. That said, we now have to convert this one fifth to be in terms of minutes, not a fraction. Again, there are 60 minutes in an hour. We're gonna multiply that by one fifth. Again, when you multiply fractions, you multiply straight across. We can write 60 as a fraction by placing it over 1. Multiply straight across. This becomes 60 over 5, which is 12. So 1 fifth of an hour is the same thing as 12 minutes. So it's going to take 3 hours and 12 minutes for this train to go those 80 miles. So the answer to this one is B.